Today it is uh, Paul McCartney's birthday. Um, so I thought I'd just shoot a quick video, just to first of all say happy birthday, Sir Paul, and uh, just to give um, a quick overview as to why Sir Paul McCartney has been so important in my piano career, especially with the song Let It Be. So I'll just show you really quickly how this song is incredibly versatile for absolute beginners as well as the more advanced style of playing and how this is the song that got me effectively playing popular music. So the song is wonderful from the point of view of you can play it just using all the standard chords. So what I mean by that is if you were to start off playing in the key of C which uh, can be shown if you call C note one, just makes it a bit easier when you are doing, especially when you're doing more advanced type of chord work, a bit like the jazz chords, if you number them, so C is one, so then you have the notes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then the chords are playable just with a simple, what I call a claw shape, but, um, <clears throat> and this is what Sir Paul played himself. He played the chord in the right hand, and then just the octave of the notes in the left hand. So it's a chord one, you play ones, and then that shape, this is a is, is middle C, which is note one. And then you can just keep that shape and just move your hand up to so chord five, six, four, one, five, four, three, two, one. So it's really simple. So of course, Sir Paul was singing it. Uh, I can't sing like Sir Paul sings, but um, that's the easiest way to play. I call that sing play, where um, <clears throat> you sing the melody so you don't have to play it. So When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be easiest way to play. Now if you, like me, are not a singer, you might want to play the melody. So then you need to play the melody as well as play the, the chords, like... So that's simply playing the melody there and then playing the three notes of the chord but changing the order just to make it easier. Uh, so you can play any of the or those three notes in any order to fit in just below the melody line. Um, so that's what I call pro play, that style of playing. But to make it easy for beginners, there's a much easier way. So what you do is you take the chord that Sir Paul was playing in his right hand and you play that in your left hand. So same chord, so one, five, six, four, one, five, four, three, two, one. And then you play the melody on its own in the right hand. And it's much, much easier just to play the melody than it is to play the melody and chords at the same time. So. So you can either read the melody from a lead sheet that has just got the notation in one line, but again, there's a much easier way. You simply just use the numbers method and just follow the numbers. So uh, the, the piano tabs style of lead sheet is what I recommend. Uh, it lets even absolute beginners play within a few minutes. You simply read the number of, of the melody, you read the number of the chord, and you can play it, so it's incredibly simple. Um, yeah, so that song was the one that started me off. I, I learned in a classical way, first of all, and uh, that's great for Chopin and things like that. Not so great if you're playing popular tunes, whereas um, uh, Let It Be was the first song that I learned by playing by chords, and then I went on to learn how to improvise, play by ear, and all the fun stuff. So. Yeah, thanks, Sir Paul, for writing Let It Be. And, uh, oh, here's Blue, come to say hello. <laughs> hello, Blue. Um, 
So happy birthday and uh, keep up the good work.